Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an embossing technique that I have seen and I wanted to share with you because I thought it was really cool. Have you ever thought of using magazines for your paper? I wouldn't have before, but I get a lot of magazines and before I would just toss them out. But now I can do something kind of cool and you can add them to your cards or your envelopes or whatever you're going, whatever project you're doing. For this project, you will need some clear embossing ink. It's always going to be ink, uh, clear. You will need some stamps that often come like this. Sometimes they're on blocks, you know, either one will work. You'll need some embossing powder. This one is shiny. This one is sparkly. This one is kind of matte, and it's kind of sparkly-ish, yeah? They come in a variety of different kinds, and they will all work. You also need a heat gun for your embossing. This, if you wanted to attach it to a project, handy scissors will work. So what I'm going to do choose an image. I'm going to choose an image like I'm going to put it like right around here. So what I do, take my stamp which is on this little block, put it into my clear gel pad, stamp it, on this purse and I take my embossing powder I'm going to use this coppery kind of color and I'm using too much on purpose it's going to look like it's all over the place and it will to you and that's okay it's supposed to you know you're supposed to just cover it and because then what you do is you take your paper like this and then you just Tip it onto a page below. So it looks like that, but that's not all we're doing. Now, put that page over there so it doesn't get lost. Put that page over there. You can put your spare pages away for a minute. Take your heat gun. You have to be kind of, you have to be careful with this heat gun because it's like a hair dryer but it's even hotter than a hair dryer. You don't want to burn yourself. If you can see, so what you can do let's say you got this card here, doesn't really go. Let's see, you want to make a little card, you know. It is just an idea. What you can do next is take some scissors. And we're going to cut out first just roughly from the page because it's just that is torn a little bit to make it easier. And we're going to go 
zoom in and we start to And you can go finer than I did. But as you can see right here, I look nice little sparkly, shiny. Well, it's not really sparkly, but it's shiny. Coppery flower with some craft glue. And of course, cut up finer. You can add it to a card or an envelope, whatever you would like to do. And that's how simple it is. You just, with these simple materials that you can buy, um, you can make a kind of a cool embossing project. Um, I've en enjoyed learning about embossing and different techniques. I will link the different kinds of materials in my videos um, below so you can know where to get these things. So, you know, this is purely um, up to you what kind of magazine you use. It's a good way to reuse them so that you don't just throw them out. Just use them, you can use them for a craft project. This isn't really for kids so much because, um, unless you have like older kids, like you know, teenagers maybe, they would be able to, to um, but for young kids, no. Because of, you know, mainly because of this thing, the heat gun. It it is um, it gets very hot and it could could burn them. So this is definitely not a pro kid thing. It's something they could watch you do, but they but not something for them. To, you know, I don't recommend it unless you have like teenagers that are quite responsible. Just saying, you don't. I don't want to just, someone to come to me and say, "Hey, you said this was okay, but it's not." You know, and so now I'm putting it out there. It's definitely for teenagers and up to actually do this project. But it's simple, easy, and fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll come back for more interesting craft videos. I put them out fairly regularly and try to find things that aren't just everybody's doing. And hope you have a great day and come back.